Today's video is on Legendre's equation. So this topic is from linear differential equations with constant quotients. So an equation of the form a plus bx power n into d power n plus p1 a plus bx power n minus 1 d power n minus 1 plus and so on pn of y is equal to q where p1, p2 and so on pn are the real constants and q is a function of s defined on an interval i is called Legendre's linear equation. So this can be solved by substituting. So in place of a plus bx, so we have to substitute e power z and here if you take log on both sides, z value will be log of a plus bx. So using this substitution, the Legendre's equations can be solved very, very easily. And here is an example for you and I'll solve and see here. So this equation is of the form a plus bx so this is also a plus b into x into d square and this one minus 3 into x plus 1 into d plus 4 of y is equal to x square plus x plus 1 so here i'll use all the substitutions and you'll be getting the solution see here so what is the solution which we have to make for solving see here so x plus 1 is equal to e power x and log of x plus 1 is equal to z and the next thing here is so what is the value of x from this so x is equal to e power z minus 1 please remember this one as we have x on the right hand side see here this is x plus 1 whole square into d square is nothing but theta into theta minus 1 as we have quotient of x is equal to 1 so simply we can write like this so this is x plus 1 into d is nothing but theta now I'll substitute all these in this above equation. So this will become theta into theta minus 1 minus 3 into theta plus 4 of y is equal to what is x here? This is e power z minus 1 whole square and this is e power z minus 1. This is plus 1. So if I multiply this will be theta square minus theta minus 3 theta plus 4 of y. Is equal to if I expand this one so this is a square this is b square minus 2 a b and this is e power z minus 1 plus 1 see I can cancel these two and minus 2 plus 1 see what happens so this will be theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 of y is equal to this is e power 2 z and this is minus e power z plus 1 see here for finding the complementary factor, we need the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is nothing but f of m is equal to 0. So here in place of theta, if I write m, this is m square minus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0, which is equal to m minus 2 whole square is equal to 0. So m minus 2, I have to write for 2 times and the roots are 2 comma 2. So I got equal roots, therefore... The complementary factor can be written as C1 plus C2z into e power 2z. And coming to the point here, so we have x plus 1 is equal to e power z. So x plus 1 is equal to e power z. Now in and uh, now log of x plus 1 we have z. Now back to the question that is c1 is equal to this is a c1 plus c2. What is z here? Log of this is x plus 1 into e power z is nothing but x plus 1. So this is x plus 1 whole square and this is equation number A. And now coming to complementary factor here. So the complementary factor is also so simple. And let me tell you the complementary factor for this is yp is equal to 1 by theta square minus 4 theta plus 4. This is e power 2z minus e power z plus 1 see here i'll split so this is 1 by this is theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into e power 2 z by 1 by this is theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into e power z plus 1 by this is theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into 1 so 1 can be written as e power 0 into z so here so in place of theta i can write 2 here so in place of theta the quotient of z is 1 so in place of theta this is 0 so if i make all the substitutions c r y p value will become 2 square 4 
2 4 z so this is 8 and this is plus 8 e power 2 z and c minus of this is 1 minus 4 plus 4 into e power z and this value will become theta 0 so this is 0 this is 0 and 4 and this is again 1 here so and this is plus 8 and minus 8 and this we can cancel so if the denominator is cancelled so we have to keep one z and make a derivative for this for theta square this is 2 theta and again for theta 1 4 remains e power 2 z and here the value here is minus e power z and this is 1 by 4 and here again we have to keep in place of theta as 2 so again if i keep what happens see so yp value will be z times of 2 into 2 minus 4 into e power 2 z minus e power z by 1 by 4 so yp value will be z by again 4 minus 4 into e power 2 z minus e power z minus 1 by 4 now again the denominator got cancelled so yp is equal to again we have to keep one more z and we have to make a derivative so for theta it is 1 so 2 remains so this is e power 2 z minus e power z minus 1 by 4 so we have a substitution so which substitution we have x plus 1 is equal to see here x plus 1 is equal to e power z and log of x plus 1 is equal to z so again keeping all these in the question so our yp is equal to so what is our yp so yp is equal to in place of z we have to write log of x plus 1 whole square by 2 and what is e power x this is x plus 1 whole square this is also x plus 1 so this is x plus 1 minus 1 by 4 and the final answer the general solution the general solution is nothing but yc plus yp see here what is our yc our complementary factor here just now i found it so this value is nothing but c1 plus see here this is a c2 log of x plus 1 into x plus 1 whole square so this is x plus 1 whole square so after writing this yc we have to add this yp value so this will be see here this will be x plus 1 log of x plus 1 whole square by 2 see here x plus 1 x plus 1 into log of x plus 1 whole square by 2 minus this is x plus 1 minus 1 by 4 and this is the final answer and this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end and if you really like you know what to do please share it with your friends and these videos will be very helpful please go through the playlist and every topic will be available so Thank you so much and please subscribe to this channel.